Peruvians woke up on Monday morning without a president. Behind closed doors, lawmakers are negotiating who will be the next interim leader of Peru. On Sunday, Manuel Marino, the former interim president, resigned after less than a week on the job. He stepped down after sustained protest ended with the death of two young men in clashes with the police last weekend. Peru's Attorney General, Zoraida Avalos, said Monday she would launch a preliminary investigation against Marino and the interim prime minister for the deaths of the protesters and allegations of abuse of authority. Meanwhile, protesters stand vigil outside the Congress building, awaiting the decision which could possibly reignite protests. At the same time, judges in Peru's highest court, the Constitutional Tribunal, are expected to rule on the legality of the ousting of former sitting president Martin Vizcarra a week ago. With a power vacuum at the top and uncertainty about what happens next, Peru is in limbo. This as the country continues to fight one of the deadliest outbreaks of COVID-19 and one of its worst recessions. Dan Collins, CGTN, Lima.